Hi everyone, it's me, Hopefully Skinny, and I'm back for my month 13 update. Two months out. Totally excited about that. Um, so my numbers. Let's start with my numbers. I know you guys all want to know them. Um, highest recorded weight, 557 pounds. Surgery date, July 15th. Uh, July 24th, sorry, July 24th, 2014, I weighed in at 366, and today I weigh in at 230 even. What? <laughs> the 220s are dangerously close, right? So, um, I'm more than a year out, so any weight loss I have from right now is pretty much my own work, um, because I can pretty much eat anything I want. Um, I can't eat as large quantities because my stomach will hurt, but I can get used to being uncomfortable. My stomach won't stretch out, but I can get used to being uncomfortable and I can graze all day. So my diet usually runs, I'm supposed to have three meals a day and that's it. No snacking, no nothing. But because I work a lot, I work 12 hour days, plus I do like two hour workouts and I'm, yeah. So that's like pretty much my waking hours right there. Um, and then, you know, an hour here or there where I'm trying to get things done in the house or errands or whatever. So I'm up for a lot. And um, so I do four small meals. And that seems to help me. Um, for a while, the three meals just wasn't doing it for me. I was just so hungry and I was weak. And why I do still feel kind of weak now because I know that um, I am actually pushing my limit of um, not getting rest. I work seven days a week, 12-hour days. Plus, I go skating once a week, do uh, NSOing for my derby league, and then I go to derby practice one day a week, and then I go to the gym the other days. And sometimes I'm going to the gym and roller skating on the same day. So um, I'm burning a lot of calories, and I'm building a lot of muscle. Um, so I do need a little bit more calorie, not more calories, just maybe split my calories up so they're more efficient for me. Um, so there's that. And um, so I don't remember if I mentioned this in my previous videos. I'm sure I've mentioned it, but I've kind of taken up something called roller derby. And my friend Skip got me into it because a few months back, one of my non-scale victories was to go roller skating. And I fell and I couldn't get back up without help. And so I didn't really consider that a non-school victory. And so a few months, out, uh, two months after, she's like, look, the SAC, roller der the SAC, SAC City Rollers do a rec league. And, you know, if you take me home and pick me up, I'll pay for you. And I was like, sure, yeah, let's go do it. Like the first day, though, I was like, what the hell did you get me into? <laughs> like, it's insane. Um, but I'm having fun. I'm really, really liking the sport. Um, I'm not on a team because I'm still in rec league um, and I'm still probably going to be in rec league for quite a while. Um, my derby skills are not even laughable. That's how bad they are. You can't even laugh at them. And, um, but I'm learning, I can skate pretty well. Um, but I'm learning things like T stops, which, um, I couldn't even stop before, but now I can kind of stop and I know how to do plow stops and plow stops is where you kind of turn your knees in towards each other and you squeeze your thighs muscles and it like slows you down. I'm trying to learn backwards skating, um, but they require you to point your toes in like this and then do a C or just simply step back and you'll just naturally go back. But the thing is, is my feet naturally point out this way. So when I do it this way, my, my knees are not just like tor turned in a little, they're like actually like leaning full on towards each other. Um, so there has to be another way for me to skate backwards. So I'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, I've been loving doing it. I've been loving going roller skating once once a week. I've taken my friend Allie, my friend Lisa. Skip's gone with me three times, two or three times. Um, so, and I've made a couple of friends at my rec league. Some of them want to go with me, so maybe they'll go with me this Friday. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. I'm having fun. Um, really glad I can find a sport. I see a lot of my uh, counterparts in uh, real life that have done the surgery and they've all kind of found sports that they enjoyed. I've never been kind of a sporty girl. I've been like, I love the gym. I love my dance classes. I like my aqua classes. You know, I like the elliptical, you know, um, so, but I haven't necessarily been sporty. So this is the first sport that I've tried that I've actually really, really like doing and I'm having a blast with it. And I think it's really important, really important to you important for you to find an activity that you can get into. I'm not a runner. 
I'm not like a jogger. I'm not a baseball player, football player, soccer, any of that. Like, you know, I would like to be able to run and do like, you know, marathons and whatever. But to me, frankly, they seem really boring. Um, but roller derby, fun, 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 fun. And so on Mondays, I go to my classes on roller derbies for two hours. And then on Thursday for two hours, I go and I do something called NSOing, which is non-skate officiating or non-skate officials. And you do things like you time the penalty boxes, you, um, you keep score, and there's other things that you do. Um, right now, I've just done the penalty boxes, which honestly, I'm having a blast doing. Um, I still go to my class and my gym classes on Tuesdays and Fridays and sometimes Wednesdays, sometimes if I feel like going Wednesdays. Um, yeah, so there's that. And, um, I go roller skating on Fridays or during the weekends. And then, um, last Friday, instead of going to my dance class, me and Skip, we went to something called a bike party. And it's basically these group of people that map out like this bike ride map, you know, this bike route. And they stop off like in abandoned parks in the evening where there's no one there and we rest up and we like catch everyone at the column party stops, but they're just really for people to like rest and for the rest of us to catch up if we're slow, which I thought I would be the slow one, but I'm not. I stayed at, at pretty much the front of the pack. And then, um, and then we ended up at a brewery and they had a really good food truck there and it was really fun. It was fun. They had different bikes spread out through the people there. Were, I, I swear there was at least a couple hundred people. So they had these bikes that had sound systems on them spread out playing different music. And, um, it was pretty cool and so much fun. I would go again this week, this, cause they do it first Friday of every month. And I would go again this, you know, this coming up the 4th of, of September, but I'm going to the Zach anime convention. So I can't go, but I can go in October. So I'm looking for that. And this one is Star Wars versus Star Trek. Ah, Star Trek all the, or no, I'm sorry, Star Wars all the way, right? So I'm, so I'm going to be missing that one, but, you know, it, it's fun. It's fun. So basically bike riding and um, derby are my favorite things to do at the moment. I spent a lot of time thinking about derby, and I spent a lot of time researching the rules on derby. So derby's kind of taken over. Um but my friend did point out something interesting is when I get obsessed with something, I'm immersed into it completely. Um, and you know, until I get the ins and outs of it. So I will be successful with Derby and I will be a good player eventually. Maybe take me, maybe take me a year to do it, but I will do it. Um, so there's that, um, dating. Uh, I haven't dated in for two weeks, probably a little bit more. I've have my okay. Cupid accounts been inactive for maybe three months. I haven't been on Plenty of Fish as well. I was using Tender for a while. Not on Tender very often. Um, I'm just frankly really bored with it. I'm bored of the first dates. I'm bored with uh, the getting to know you phase. I'm bored with the trying to decipher if these guys are interested in me or if they're just trying to get in my pants. Um, I'm tired of defending my uh, behavior with them or lack of behavior, I guess, um, or explaining to them that if they are interested, they will text me that I do not need to chase them. Um, or if I don't pick up the phone after you called me 10 times, I'm not interested. Um, yeah. So, uh, there's that. Um, so dating's kind of on hold again. It's always on hold or not on hold or there's always something going on with that, right? Um, but this, I think it's much more of a natural thing. It's just that one, frankly, I'm too busy to date. I'm really busy. If I'm dating, I'm giving up something. I'm giving up my derby time, my gym time, my downtime, sleeping time. I'm getting, giving up something. And frankly, the majority of these guys are not proven that they're worth me sacrificing my sleep time. Um, and that sounds bitchy, but I don't mean to be bitchy. It's just that my time's very valuable and I'm not looking for a quick lay. If I wanted to do that, I can walk outside my door and find that in two seconds. Uh, I don't need to waste my time on texting someone and calling somebody and, you know, trying to get to know them to fuck them. So, um, I'm not saying that's what I do. I don't, I don't go out my door and be like, Hey, there's the good. If you want some? No, I, I don't do that. No. 
but what I'm saying is if I wanted to, I could do it a lot easier than, than the bout that they're showing me. So there's that. Um, I went to a derby bout on the 8th of Saturday. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Uh, my league totally ruled the other league. They did. Both teams, the B team and the A team. Mm. Amazing players. There's a few players um, that are just like, there's two girls that are just so amazingly good that I have a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a girl crush on them. I'm not saying like sexually, but I'm saying, like, oh, can I be your friend? Please let me be your friend. You're so good at skating. Um, but there's like this weird hierarchy there. Um, I'm kind of on the bottom of the total pool for now. But don't worry, still be my friends. Everybody likes me. Um, so that's kind of it in the world of Nikki, I guess. Um, work's going really good. Um, haven't had any problems with either of my jobs, so that's good. Um, family is really good. Um, my mom, I'm still sad. Uh, there's a few times that I cried this week because of just like things that have happened. Um, yeah, so, oh, and downtime. I, I'm running so, I'm, I'm always on the move. I'm always doing something that I definitely need to probably take two days off from both of my jobs and everything else and just have like a day where I just like lay on the couch and Netflix it. Just like stay in my pajamas all day. No makeup on. Not even take like a freaking shower. <laughs> just stay in the pajamas on the couch. Just like, I'm going to binge watch like Knights of Shadonia or something, you know? Uh, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, but I'm going to say goodbye. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to talk a little bit about body issues. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my last video because I keep mentioning it every so often. But for a little while, I had like this huge issue with my body because I feel like my face is aging. I feel like my face is aging and I feel like I'm still fat. And I have this tummy right here, which a lot of people, when they say that when they see me from my waist up, that I look really thin. Let me see if I can show you guys. Because I, I, will, I will show you. Okay, so they say from here up that I look really thin. But then I have this thing right here, which you can't really tell. Yeah, see right here. This is all pretty much loose skin. And it's a little, and like, I have thousands of layers of sheepwear on. Just like thousands of layers. And, um, but, um, anyways, I'm most insecure about my tummy. Like, always trying to think about it, like how to hide it how to dress so it camouflages it that I have this like really awkward lower round tummy around my hips versus where it's supposed to be up in your tummy level and um so there's that uh and then like my arms have been bothering me like like you can see where my arm is and then this is all like deflated skin it has no fat in it it's just skin and so like I've been having a hard time with that and um and my boobs are shrinking. <laughs> my tummy isn't going away fast enough, but my boobs are. So I've been having an issue with body image and just feeling old and unattractive and um, those things. And that happens every so often to everybody that's going through the surgery or when they have significant weight loss. Your skin has to adjust. This right here, I feel like it's wobbly. Chicken neck. Maybe it's not bad today. But I try to moisturize it and keep, you know, take care of it and stuff. And it does firm up after a while because I did lose, I gained 10 pounds, but I was still losing inches. And then I lost 11 pounds and then I lost more inches. So I'm pretty sure the 10 pound gain was probably from doing a lot of exercising with my skates on and everything. And then I lost more weight and this fell and like I quit taking pictures because I was too embarrassed of it. I need to quit defining myself on my appearance that was dangerous. I didn't define myself so much on who I was with my appearance before surgery. And you would think that I would, but after surgery, I'm much more aware of my physical appearance and my physical body other than taking up space. Like before I was always conscious of it. Cause I'm like, I'm in someone else's space. I don't want to touch them. I don't want to infringe on them. Um, and that's still left over, especially in Derby when we have to touch people because we're not necessarily always touching them with our hands, but we have to touch them with our chest and our stomach and our hips and 
And it's like, I'm still in that every time I'm doing these maneuvers with these girls, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And they're just like, why are you sorry? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this. <laughs> but you know, it's that whole, like, I don't want anyone to feel my fat, but you know, and we're so up on each other that there's no way they don't know that I have all this blue skin. And it's like, they don't care. And when I was at the roller skating ring, I had two, two young boys last week or the week before two young boys the week before that were just like all about this all about this and there was no way that they didn't notice my stomach when i was roller skating and all the stuff i was doing and they didn't care i was the only one that cared um don't worry totally not mrs robertson i'm not gonna be like oh come here little boys i got some candy for you but <laughs> so i'm gonna leave it off here and say good night and that i want that I wish that the other side of surgery is as fantastic for you as it has been for me. And remember, weight loss is not about a size or a number, but about getting healthy. And I want you all to have a happy, healthy, safe journey. And remember, if something is too good to be true, it usually is. So make sure you check in with your health professional before you start any diet or ex exercise routine. Until then, bye.